Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my YouTube channel. As in the previous video, I asked you about which printer you want video first. So mostly people ask me about Core XY 3D printer. So I'm making the video of 500 mm Core XY 3D printer, and this is the CAD model of this printer. And I will tell you everything in details one by one. And firstly, this is the x-axis. This is the x-axis aluminium profile which is 627 mm you can take it as 630 mm and this is the head of x-axis in which you can see here v6 hardened 5015 cooling fan this is the 3d print for end stop and these are the 3d print for holding of and these are the 3d prints to hold the hot end and this is for the cable chain after that at the each end of x axis aluminum profile we have pulleys here which will be used for the timing belt you can see here and you will start timing belt from here and it will go from here and also there are the pulleys at the corners and you will tie the belt in this way for x-axis and also for y-axis you can see here two pulleys one is for the x-axis one is for the y-axis and you will start one from here and it will end here and the other one will start from here and the end and will end at here and these are the x gantries and these two are the y gantries which are which are easily available on the market and these are the tightness screws and also the spacer two eccentric spacer for each y-axis gantry and one eccentric spacer for x-axis gantry and the other six spacers are normal spacers for the tires after that we have y-axis these are the motors one is for x-axis and one is for y-axis all right and you will attach these two motors like this one at this corner and the other one at this corner after that you can attach timing belt with these two motors and this is the gt2 timing pulley with 16 teeth or 20 teeth whatever you can choose and these are the 3d prints to hold the pulleys also these are the 3d print to hold the pulleys after that this is the heating belt here as 500 mm size is not available in pakistan so i chose four 200 mm heated belt and attach them like this these are the aluminum profiles with which I attached four 200 mm heat belt and over here this is the glass which I used as a heat bed or platform for the 3d printing all right after that you can see the frame here the length of this frame and also the length of this x-axis profile y-axis profile and length of these profile for bed is available in the list of component i will show you after that and these are the 90 degree angle brackets which you will use to assemble the frame and you will use it one two three four and four corner then you will use 16 corner brackets or 90 degree brackets this is the power supply 24 volt 15 ampere power supply and for Z axis, you can see I attach only one motor here. You can assume that one is here, the other one is here, and the fourth one is here. So I'm showing you just the mechanism here. This is the lead screw rod with brass nut here, and it will attach with the aluminum profile like this. This is the part you can 3D print or you can machine it. You can get it by machining and this is the 3d printed part 
and which has the LM8 UU bearing inside it which will slide up and down with this profile when the screw will rotate up and down. Similarly, the same process will be repeated here and here and here also. After that, this is the extruder motor here. The filament will come from the bottom and it will go like this and enter into the hot end like this. And this is the filament stand here. Filament roll will be standing here like this and filament will go from here. You can add the filament runout sensor here. Uh, and this is the 3D print for the cable chain holder. As for the box of the controller, you can purchase the electronic box, you know a steel box electronic and you can place those electronics, microcontroller, cooling fan and motor drivers and etc whatever you are using. You can place them in that electronic box and upon that I will provide you the uh, STL file of the LCD of MKS. MKS Robin Leno V3.1 LCD and also the microcontroller. So I will provide you the STL file of the cover of LCD. And this is the whole model. And this is the base holder. As you can see the NEMA 17 motor is coming down out of the frame. So you will use base holders to keep the frame balance. So this is the CAD model of 500mm 3D printer Core X5. This will move like this. X axis and Y axis will move like this. And as for the X axis and stop, and stop will be here. And we will add the 3D printed stopper here, which will consider as the home axis. And also we will place the Y axis end stop here which will home the Y axis when this gantry will touch the end stop. So this is the CAD model. I know it's not fully upgraded. It's just simple CAD model or simple version of Core XY 3D printer. If you want me to improve like you want the rail system uh, you want to remove this tire wheel system uh, I can also add that in the frame and after that filament runout sensor and if you don't like this Z axis system I can also change that if you want just tell me in the comment section which part do you want to change or you have any other option or easier option like you said if you have any other easier option for me to change this model, I will follow your lead. Kindly let me know in the comment section. If you want the same model, I will provide you the STL file also in this video and also give you the STL files in the, the link will be given in the description. Now I will show you the list of the components. Now this is the list of the components that we will use in the 500mm Core XY 3D printer. First one is the XY gantries. One gantry will be used in X axis and two gantries will be used in Y axis. And also the 11 pieces of POM B wheels which will, used, which will be used to attach these gantries with the frame. And five pieces of eccentric spacers and six pieces of normal spacer for these gantries. M5 into 30 mm screws and M5 tighteners for these gantries. So the gantries process will be end here. After that, you have the eight pieces of 650 mm 2020 aluminum profile. You will attach these profile in the Z axis. And six pieces of 600 mm 2020 aluminum profile like X and Y axis. One piece of 630 mm 2020 aluminum profile which will be used in the x-axis. Also the three pieces 470 mm 
this aluminum perfile will be used in the heat bed. After that you have 4 pieces of 580 mm T8 lead screw with brass nut. For Z axis you will use 4 lead screw like 4 NEMA 17 motors and 4 pieces of 580 mm T8 plain rod with LM8 UU bearing which will be used as a which will be used to slide the bed up and down with the lead screw and 7 ma 17 motors 4 for the z axis 1 for x 1 for y and 1 for x student motor and 8 pieces of idler pulleys for timing belt and 2 pieces of gt2 pulleys for timing belt which will be used on ma 17 motors and 5 meter timing belt will be enough for x and y axis after that mk8 extruder kit for the extruder motor which will push the filament into the nozzle after that 24 volt long wire v6 hot end or you can say burden v6 hot end and after that 24 volt power supply 24 volt and 15 ampere will be enough for this printer and 24 volt 40 10 40 by 40 into 10 mm cooling fan for the cooling of electronic components in the electronics box after that 24 volt 50 15 cooling fan for the part cooling fan which will be used during the printing to cool down the 3d prints and 16 pieces of 90 degree plates to assemble the frame 1 kg filament spool will be enough to print all the 3d prints for the requirement of this 3d printer and microcontroller you can use whatever microcontroller you want and I used MKS microcontroller and LCD. After that, four pieces of 8 mm LM8 UU bearing. After that, you will use BLTEC sensor for the Z axis homing, and also this is efficient for the auto bed leveling. And four pieces of 214 mm heat bed, as 500 mm heat bed is not available here, so I used four 214 mm heat bed on the aluminium profile and keep the 500 into 500 into 6 mm thickness glass on them for 3d printing after that you will require m3 and m5 screws and also the drop nuts and inches screws washers and nuts in the list i forgot to add these four components first one is the 5 to 8 coupler for nema 17 motor to join the lead screw the second one is two end stops and the third one is ntc thermistor for heat pad and the fourth one is the teflon tube for the filament so this was the list of the components that we you will use in the 500 mm core xy 3d printer if you have any question you can ask me in comment section so this is a list of the STL files that you can use in your 500mm 3D printer. You can see here 31 files and if you feel that any file is missing, you can ask me in comment section then I will provide you if the file is missing here. And also I will provide the link in the description. So you can download these files from my website and further if you need any assistance you can also ask me in comment section and also you have my phone number you can contact me on whatsapp. Thank you. I hope you like this video. In the next video, I will show you the wiring of this printer and also the Marlin firmware for this 3D printer. Thank you.